Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the channel. It's a gray, cloudy day. I am Gray Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment. If you could, <clears throat> hit that like button, please. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd ask you to consider subscribing to the channel. It helps the channel grow. And share it anywhere you... Anywhere you our own social media, I guess. Let's try to get this thing out there to help people. But this morning, I'm going to read from 50 Things That Really Matter. Having a pretty good day. Oh. Oh. Just got off uh, stupid Facebook. I don't know. I don't really need to talk about all that because I don't know why some people want to comment about something that's real simple. I don't know. We got to remember that online is not fucking life, dude. And there I went. I cussed in a video. Very rarely will you hear me on on camera saying a lot. Many, many. I try not to cuss a whole lot. I, I'm trying my best in my own personal life. But on film, I try not to. For the channel. Because I'm... I, but we're going to leave it. I'm not some kind of pristine person that's so clean that, you know. But anyway, remember, hit the like, subscribe, do all that kind of goo, blah, blah, boo stuff. Anyway, here we go. It's number 16. A good book. A good book. We swim in worlds all day long. Stock quotes, headlines that scream to-do list, insurance forms, the occasional fashion magazine, or dime store romance. Yet for all their power to occupy or distract us, these types of writing will never compare to a good book. A really good book doesn't just entertain, it leaves you fundamentally different. It's both a mirror and a magnifying glass. A woven complication of seemingly small details that has the power to show you your truest, your truest self. When you read a good book, you see that everyone's problems are the same, but they're just a jumping off point. That there are as many ways to live as there are grains of salt in the sea. How do you know when you've found a good book? Time melts as you read it. Unsuspecting, you crack the spine and find yourself whisked to a place that sings to every cell in your body. Soon you're befriending characters that become soulmates. <laughs> Following a story that seems truer, truer than reality. Yeah. Yeah, a good book. Indeed, in the middle of a good book, you become so wrapped up in the story that you forget about the language, the way an exquisite painting renders color transparent. No one, no one word or hue stands out as the most beautiful they're all elemental, irreplaceable, in one complete, perfectly balanced whole. Then, as you near the end of the book, you start 
metering out the pages in small doses because you don't want to leave the special world you've entered. I've done that, yeah. I've slowed down on my reading uh, when I because I was getting too close to the end of some things. Most of all, a good book inspires you. As the words flow in and out of you, they change your attitude and open you up to new experiences. Read long enough and a good book can make you want to be a better person. Live a better life. Talk to strangers. Jet off to Paris. Pick up a pen to write your own stories. Next time a good book finds you, take a moment to give thanks for how one object, no bigger than the span of two palms, can contain so much of the world. Teach you so much of what it means to be human and make you feel so alive. <sighs> okay. Yeah. When I read that earlier to myself, I, there's, a, there's one of the puppies. <laughs> I'm on the porch, of course. Hey, damn puppy. But I was thinking when I read that, uh, I need to start working on the story I got that the Spirit has given me and about Hero and Dog. It, it'll be a good, it's more than just one book. It's a, it's a lifelong thing. So today I'm going to kind of toy around with ideas. I'm going to pull that out of my I think I'm going to go through my notes and the things that I did start working on uh, for that um, that gift that's been given to me, a story um, that's based in the world we live in, but into the future and uh, kind of... Uh, A take on uh, what's gonna come to happen in the next uh, 20 to 30 years or maybe 50 years. I don't know. But Hero, a boy named Hero, is born and named Hero, and then he gets a dog and he names the dog Dog. And turns out that dog happens to be his great great grandfather or something like that. We'll figure it out. I got the notes. I'll talk about it some other time. I'm going to make a video about it. I also got to try to make a video about discussing about my mom and the details of that, uh, her death. I want to do that. But anyway, y'all have a good day. And, uh, you know... Mark Gillum, if you see this, I'm not meaning nothing bad in the comment that I commented back on your comment that you commented to me. But if you don't see it, oh well. It, you know, I'm just saying. You commented, I commented back. So don't be offended. The world and life. Life is too short to be offended about stupid stuff, you guys. About dumb stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a good day. This is Gray Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment, over and out. Ditto.